breaking news overnight. Thanks, Amy. A wild scene in the past few hours along busy Orange Blossom Trail in Orange County. Gunfire erupted in a parking lot outside a restaurant. Two people were hit. Deputies say one was an innocent bystander. News six is Kirsten O'Connor's live at that scene along OBT near Oak Ridge. And Kirsten, detectives, are they saying much about who was the shooter? Bridget, they are looking for two men who they are calling suspects and say that they drove out of this parking lot. And I want to tell you, this happened around 2 o'clock in the morning. Deputies are still out here. We want to give you a look at the scene right now. We've been watching them walk out of El Fagón del Valle. That's the restaurant where this happened all morning long. They've been talking with witnesses. They've been uh, inside the parking lot and inside the resting restaurant for several hours now. Now, again, like I said, they're looking for two men who they say sped off last night. They say two men were shot here in that parking lot, and our cameras were rolling overnight as the ambulance drove those victims to the hospital. Deputies tell us they are expected to be okay. Both men are, but investigators are saying that one of those victims was arguing with the two suspects inside the restaurant, and when he tried to leave, the two men ambushed and started shooting at him. Now, there were about 50 people in the restaurant at the time, and witnesses that we spoke with say that they heard just about 20 shots go off. A lot of them were stuck inside for several hours, and we know one of the victims in the man was that man in the fight, but police say the other guy uh, who was shot had nothing to do with this. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, an undercover detective was driving by, and he heard the sound of gunshots and saw the cars speeding out of the parking lot was able to get help for those two victims very quickly. But like I said, extra deputies still out here on the scene several hours after this shooting happened, and they're still looking for those two suspects, one man in his 20s, the other in his late 40s, we're told. They haven't given us much of a description about the car that they were seen driving in away from this restaurant. That's one of the questions we're continuing to ask this morning as this story is still developing. I'm going to send it back to you, David and Bridget, back in the studio. All right, thanks for the update, Kirsten.